first of all, God bless you for being out here. Thanks. <laughs> you were always a great 100 guy. Yeah. Fourth at the 50, fourth at the 100, looking strong. Um, life as a personal trainer isn't the same as uh, training full time. No, no, it's not. It's not. It definitely. Once I turned at the 100, the lactate just spiked up. <laughs> what did the brain do at that point? Was there a it was like, it was or? like, no. I mean, it was more like, all right, do you now go into animal mode and barely get out of the pool? Or do you just try to keep your stroke and, and finish, finish so what, well, so. Which course did you do? Right? I tried the finishing, finishing well course. <laughs> How, how is it different these days? I mean, you, you've been swimming for a long time. You were a Bulgarian Olympian twice. You were four-time uh, short world short course champion. Um, so you've got a lot of experience on yourself. Yeah, it's, it's an awesome journey. Um, you know, thinking about it, why I'm still swimming, it's just, you know, ever since day one, you know, my dad, Plowman, he always taught me to, you know, go out there, give it your best. Don't go for place. Just do your best. Train well every day. Be consistent. And you know what? I'm still doing that. If I'm not putting up American records anymore, well, it's life. But I'm still, you know, it's kind of it's kind of the journey that I really appreciate about sport in general. Well, it is a journey, and it's still a process. And you're helping uh, a lot of people at Trojan Swim Club to uh, attain that kind of level, are you not? Yeah, yeah. I, I love working with swimmers, uh, learning from them. Definitely, definitely uh, helping them learn from me. And it's just, it, it, it's awesome working with swimmers that want to learn how to how to swim faster, how to mentally stay in the game. And I, I just love it. I love coaching, and I love working with people. What did you learn from this race today? From this race? Well, I try to go out smooth yet powerful, like I always do. Uh, the second hundred, my training just hadn't been there. So, you know, 200 long course, you gotta have some aerobic training in you at the beginning of the season. You gotta, you gotta cycle through it and make sure you have a lot of training under your belt. You know, for me as a casual swimmer and uh, you know, jumping out there expecting best times in a 200 long course isn't going to happen without a solid base of aerobic work. So that just kind of put a stamp on that theory. And here's the word from a casual swimmer at Olympic trial. All right, take care. <laughs>